Good morning and welcome back to HMRK, HR. It's, um, hopefully you can see that, 7.51 in the morning. Everyone's asleep, I'm up. Got my Spurs nude that I double up as a head cover now for my cycling. Got my uh, training top on and I'm heading out on the bike shortly. Um, I've pulled the bike out. Um, hopefully you can see through the uh, window. Uh, just waiting for a couple of uh, mates to turn up. Should be here in the next 15, 20 minutes. We'll be heading out, hoping to do between 30 and 35 miles today um, before the big game, of course, which is um, four o'clock or 4.30 kickoff against Manchester United. Uh, I watched a couple of games yesterday, uh, the Liverpool game, which they won 2-1, which took them up to fourth spot. However, uh, Chelsea won 4 one yesterday and looked very good in winning 4-1 and moved back into the top four position. So uh, it's over to us now. Um, I think today's probably the last chance to loon anything other than a win and uh, we can completely say we're out of the top four race. A win and we still have a squeak. Um, so it'll be interesting. Um, and then obviously there's rumours as well. I keep hearing about Harry Kane saying if we don't finish in the top four, he's going to be moving to one of the Manchester clubs. I think something like that may well happen anyway because there's too many stories now and it's starting to gather momentum. And I think um, there's just there's so much wrong at Spurs at the moment. Um, and I think this all goes back to Daniel Levy not spending the cash uh, and the new stadium. And great, the stadium's brilliant, but it's empty. And so hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, you know, uh, the thought process was more fans, more revenue, get us up there. But, you know, uh, the 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 uh, Enoch want to do it via this fair play business and it clearly doesn't work. Um, in order to do anything, um, you need to spend money. Uh, that's something we're not prepared to do. So for the foreseeable future, can't see anything but, you know, top six finishes um, and maybe even worse in the future unless obviously Jose turns it around which I believe he'll be gone by the end of the season anyway so um, it's um, interesting and uncertain times for Spurs at the moment so um, let's see what happens anyway um, always remain positive hopefully we can get a win today I'm going to go out do my cycling now switch off for a little while enjoy uh, rural Essex and um, catch you Later, come on you Spurs. Hi guys, welcome back to HMRK. It's me, Indy here and... H. So, um, today we're playing Man United, but before you get started, make sure you smash the like, hit the subscribe button and you know all notifications. So whenever we post a new video, you'll be notified. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, as I said, we are playing Man United. Um, bit scared actually for this match. Yeah, definitely. And for those of you wondering why I've got this beanie hat on, um, I went out on my bike ride this morning. Uh, it was really cold in two degrees um, I've got bad hair day as well I can't wait for the, the uh, hairdressers to uh, reopen so I can go and have a little trim I've been there open tomorrow but apparently it's six week queues for the hairdressers and stuff so I'm just going to be wearing my beanie hat for the foreseeable future but the teams have dropped as Indy said here's the Tottenham team we have Larice, Aurier, Roden, Dyer, Reguilon, Endombele, Hoiberg, the Sasa, Nicholas Morris, Son and Kane. Right, okay. Um, Subs. We have Alder Weirold, Wicks, Bale, Lamella, Hart, Suzuko, Ali, Tanganga and Vinicius. Right, Man United, yep. Okay, we have Henderson, Juan Pizaka, Lindelof. Maguire, Shaw, McTominay, Fred, Bruno Fernandes, Pogba, Rashford and Cavani. Subs for them we have De Gea, Mata, Greenwood, Diallo, yep. Tellies, yep. Matic, Williams, Van der Beek and Tuanzibe. Tuanzibe. Right, so that's the teams. Uh, three changes. Sonny's back, I can see quickly. Dyer's back for um, Sanchez, who was bought, was bought rank awful against yeah. Newcastle and um, it looks like Aurier's back for Tanganga so um, so that's the team I mean, uh, it looks pretty strong yeah it looks good 
the, the thing is, I've just watched West Ham, well, I say you just watched West Ham, so I caught the end of the West Ham game, the last five minutes, uh, for Fana missed a, a header just to make it a, make it an equaliser. It was finished 3-3, Newcastle won the earlier game 2-1. It's really tight. West Ham have done everyone and themselves a massive favour, by the way. And they, they are, they're up there, you know, on merit in the top four position. But they've done us a favour as well. If we win this game, we Oh, if you win this game, then we're going to be three points off top four. But the gap between us and Leicester will will be reduced, which will be good. Can I see us winning this game? No. And actually, I'm going to give you my scoreline today. I fancy Man United to win this one, two one or three one. But I'm going to go with two one Man United. Indy. I'm just gonna be like, I don't wanna say we're gonna lose. Yep. So I'm gonna go. 1-1 You're going to go 1-1 one, one, yeah. The reason I've gone 2-1 Is because we're rubbish We're going to sit back We're going to defend And we're just going to We're going to give Man United All the ball And Man United And Man United They'll find a way to score So They will always They will score Yeah exactly So the teams are coming out Indeed look The teams are coming out There's Harry Maguire There's Hugo So we'll catch you In a bit Shortly Give it a couple of minutes Five minutes Come on you Spurs Right And the game is Off Maya has joined us, Maya. Scoreline. You know what, I don't know. I want to say we're going to win, but I just don't think we are going to win. I've got 2-1 Man United. Oh, Maya with the 2-2 draw. Yeah, I've got 2-1 Man United. I just don't see us winning. I just don't think we're going to win. I don't think we're going to win, but I don't want to say we're going to win. Okay, so India's gone 1-1. Maya's gone 2-2. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Rachel Marquette. Sharon's here. Woo! -hoo! Can you give us your scoreline, quickly? Yeah, thank you for the lovely cup of tea. And my scoreline for today is 2-1. Two? What is that? 2-2-1, two, 1-2-1. Two, 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 okay, so Sharon's going for a 2-1. Blow the whistle! Somebody's on okay. the floor, injured! They don't care. Go. Rebecca, and it's 1-0, Man United. Rebecca, is it over that? Can they not? Exactly. Well, we'll have, we'll have to see if it's a foul. Exactly. There's a foul. Please. We'll have to see if it's a foul. Obviously, they've got an advantage if there's one through the floor. I saw it. It was a match only just pounded off into someone's face. It was very similar to the instance of the floor. Stay down, Son. Stay down. Keep going. Get up. We overturned it. Oh. It took a while to think about it, but you ain't going to give him a yellow card, that is. He's not going to give him a yellow card. But shall I tell you something? There's only going to be Man United's going to score another goal soon. Yeah, but then again, Tottenham's their part. But mum, then again, they're still going to be bought. But hey, I'm not being funny. Nothing's going to be bought. I think they've accidentally myself. I don't think he's meant to do that. So if any Man United fans watching, I think I think that's a goal. No, we will take it. But we'll take it. The goalkeepers had nothing to do. We created Jack. That's nice. Now come on, go forward. You've got space. And it's a 1-0 
lead given to us courtesy of the 39th minute goal from Hung Min Son, who was also and involved, and a disallowed goal, but Son was involved in that. I actually think it was harsh. You guys think it was a free kick. I think it was harsh. I think it was accidental. Whether it was a, a free kick or not, I think the referee saw it as not a free kick, and then he, 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 he was convinced to change it. I think that I think the, what the referee saw was it clear and obvious. I don't think so. And that's where I think VAR is is, is, is so subjective. He's, you know, I mean, he's he's running. I mean, I don't think he's yeah, but the thing is, yeah, but know better than that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting. Let's let's. Why do you need to run? Anyway, who cares? Anyway, yeah, who cares? We're one 0 up. Exactly. We'll catch you in the second half. Come on, you Spurs. Yeah. Welcome back. And the second half has just kicked off. And. Uh, Oh, this is good there by Man United. They're looking, I'll tell you what, they look different. And I'll tell you something as well, what's pissing me right off is we're sitting back and defending again. It's only been three minutes. Bring the... Delhi Alley on. That's not going to change because we're going to play the same style of football. It doesn't matter what players you what play. What Gareth on? But what difference does it make? Gareth's going to have to do this. But why? Because that's the way we play here over there in here. One. Look at that, that's three, three minutes I've seen that's enough that Man United was for a goal. That's, that's three, three minutes I've seen enough here that Man United was going to get an equaliser. Do you know that's my problem? We, we, it's like, I don't mind us playing on the counter, but we don't play on the counter like we're going to, look, we're, we're going to score here. Guys, 55 minutes on the clock and I'll be absolutely flabbergasted if Man United don't score. We're just doing our usual rubbish. We're putting 10, 11 men behind the ball. We're not looking like we're trying to counter either. It just seems like a defensive shape. It's the same game. Look, just we, we're, we're gonna we're gonna concede a goal, then we're gonna think, let's start playing again. <coughs> We've been coached this week in week out, drilled to take a lead and just sit on it. Take a lead and just sit on it. Take a lead and just sit on it. This is a good side. Now you got one good cross, one head down, it's a goal. I hate, hate watching, I'm sick and sight of watching this. Look, they're in. <laughs> Offside. No, it's a goal. And it's been coming. Guys, it's been coming because we're shit. Why have they just pushed him like that? 56 on the clock, Man United have equalised. Really well deserved as well. It should have been 2 1, really, isn't it? Well, it's just really well deserved because we've just been. Rubbish. Mourinho, I think you just sack him right now as far as I'm concerned. I'm sick and tired of watching his dread week in, week out. Sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of watching us defend Leeds. Why are we defending a 1-0 lead? Dad, why don't they hire you? I, mean, I, I would just tell this team to attack. Harry Redknapp used to say, just go out and play football. You can't be just getting Harry Redknapp. 71 minutes, Greenwood on, Rashford off and... This could be really dangerous for us. I like Greenwood. Look, there we go. We're just in shape. That's what we do. Look, we're just in a shape. Two banks of four. We don't just see. This is just where we're too deep for starters. Look, too easy. Too easy again. There you go. And that was that's been coming. And you know why? Because we're static. We don't we don't press the ball. We're so static. It's embarrassing. No, who is challenging the ball? Who is coming to the player? No one. Here, look. No one going to him. Everyone just look. Everyone just. Not one person for challenging. This has been so comfortable for you, and look at that. So we uh, look at this. Let's another goal. And he does. Butterfingers, Butterfingers, Maurice has gifted Man United another one. Couldn't keep out a, a, a goal on his near post. So not even the scoreline I predicted. And a well-deserved victory for Man United fans. Well done, guys. We're awful. Absolutely awful, side. But no one puts a challenge in. Look at Pogba, look. Not one person, look. Where's the challenge? Dyer is useless. So, another poor Sunday for us. Game over. Yay! Man United have won. Man United have won 3 1 and thoroughly deserved. Mourinho, you can just go. I don't even want to. I've got kids here, so I don't even want to say the word I want to say. 
Mourinho, you can just go. And a lot of our players can go as well because we, some of our players are just treading water. There's not, there's, 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 you're, not, you're not playing for your shirt. You know, the basic principle when you get paid as much money as you do is go out and put a shift in. And a lot of our players just they hide. They hide. They don't put challenges in. I can, I can understand why Harry came on Saturday. Terrible, terrible. He second half. So one nil up. Crack on. Push on. Go and get the second goal. Mourinho never wants to get that second goal. And that's sorry. That is just that is not good enough for our Tottenham side. It's not good enough to be one nil up at half time and then just sit there and defend a one nil lead. So then concede. Bad. And the momentum shifts when you concede. I feel so bad for Harry Kane. I feel so bad because he deserves to be at a club who wins trophies. Who can actually get somewhere, not Tottenham. So, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to go in the kitchen and put on a nice ruby. We're going to do a bit of cooking for dinner tonight. And as always, we'll always say it because we're Spurs fans. Come on you Spurs!